I started taking lessons uh, as a great, great teacher in New York um, named Jeff Dedrick, and I started with him. And um, but it's weird. I started the minute I started learning stuff, I started applying it to songs. So like I'd learn three chords, well then I'd write a three chord song, or I'd, I'd hear Pinball Wizard or something, and then I'd write something like with that chord. And I just I got into writing right away. I think that was that was an interesting part of it. I was, how do I apply something I had some cool riff I learned in tablature or something and then apply it to a song you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. and um, was there a moment when you, in your songwriting when you you know wrote something on the guitar that do you remember the first song you wrote where you felt that's a really good guitar song like I finally wrote interesting one yeah I think it and I think it I think it was I think it had to do with uh, some open chords like you know the first time I hear, heard song you know you know they, I love these uh, Open chords and either either maybe uh, I don't know what the influences could have been could have been like yes like uh, you know or, or uh, Almond Brothers I don't know what it is but I think I think I think the first time I knew it was very that that could only be done on guitars maybe with this great open ringing extra extra tones and mm -hmm. <laughs> and you uh, you play a lot in uh, drop D tuning yeah we were talking about that because I, I the song I had in mind. Um, I don't know if it was going over the canals or something, but um, I, I thought of this song called um, Mind of Your Own today. Kind of a mellow song, but it is. Yes, it's a drop D. So I, um, this guitar likes drop D. What drew you to that sound of drop D? Was that? I bet it was like Jimmy Page or something somehow, or, uh -huh. or just, just knowing that it'd be extra cool. And uh, it, Taj Mahal, too, was a big influence that, although he was down a whole he was when he was dropping D it was actually drop C because he was he was just already down a whole step mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I think that that sound and knowing you get more mileage just something's ringing out and while, while you do things above it you know creates nice tones cool well let's hear you play a song in drop okay D cool and, uh, off, this is let's off do, the new record yeah yeah we'll do a drop D song it's called uh, mind of your own What does it matter? 
I just try to be your friend All you do is scatter back into your shell You got a mind of your own And I hope it serves you Tides are rising with hurricane force winds. We almost lost our house, and with it, everything. But you will take my advice, so what is it? I just try to be your friend All you do is scatter back into your shell You got a mind of your own You got a mind of your own You got a mind of your own This weekend Every year, I had friends that went to the Philadelphia Folk Festival, mm -hmm. and I think um, that started me on a, a big acoustic pursuit. And guys like Taj Mahal, anyone from like Taj Mahal to Tom Paxton to Jerry Garcia, well, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of great acoustic um, and song and songwriters. And um, I think I knew I had to have a, a D35. Was the, just that that must happen kind of thing. And what was it about the D35 that? kind of drew you in? Was it a player, a specific player who was using it? That's or a good question. I don't, I don't think it was a specific player, although I saw a lot of my, you know, I saw a lot of these players playing them, but I think it, it was, uh, I also had a, I had a friend, uh, a friend in New York who, 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 you know, was like, you have to get, you have to get a D35. <laughs> it's like, right. it's like a rite of passage if, right. if you want to play at Folk City or something or, um, you know. Mm -hmm. 